Hey guys, this is Donnie, and this is How to Read Manga in Japanese, Episode 7. I thought that I was going to do 10 episodes of this series, but uh, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and end it here at Episode 7. A nice lucky number that works for me. And we're going to end with a beginner episode. So we're actually going to read from a very popular Japanese kids comic called Doraemon. And Doraemon is one of my top recommendations if you're trying to get some good reading practice in as a beginner. And we're only going to focus on one page of today's manga. Why? Because I remember being a beginner and I remember how overwhelming it felt when you just have all these symbols kind of staring at you and you just don't know what to do with them. So let's focus in on that one page. We'll break today's episode down into three parts. So first, I'm going to read it to you slowly. Second, I'm going to break down what's happening in each panel. And then third, I'm going to read it to you again at a faster speed. Okay, so let's get to it. Usotsuki Kagami Ima made Boku no kao wa manga mitai da to omotte ita kedo Ko Kore wa Honto ni boku daro ka? Boku ga Konna ni handsome datta to wa ひょっとしたら僕世界一の美男子じゃないかしらそうですあなた様は世界一なのです鏡が喋った私は Alright guys, let's break down the page that we just read, and I apologize in advance if you hear any background noise. I do live near the street. And uh, yeah, the cars have started moving, but that's all right. We're going to keep going anyway. So let's look at this first page. It says, Usotsuki Kagami. So Usotsuki means to lie or to fib, and Kagami means mirror. So I guess we could look at it as the lying mirror, or the fibbing mirror, or the mirror of lies. Take a look at this first panel. So it says, Imamade. Until now, or up until now. Boku no kao wa, my face, manga mitai. And manga means manga, mitai means looks like. So, looks like a manga. Dato motte ita. I thought. And then, kedo just means but. So, let's string that all together. Until now. I thought my face looked like a manga, but let's look at the next bit. He says, ko, kore wa, and he's so handsome, he's stumbling over his words. Ko, kore, th this, hontoni means really? Boku daro ka. Boku, we already saw that, that means I. Daro ka, it's almost like deska on this one. Deska. So, is this really me? Is what he's saying. Kore wa honto ni boku daro ka. Okay, let's go to the next panel. Boku ga konna ni handsome datta to wa. Boku ga, it's me or I again. Konna ni means this. Handsome is handsome. Datta to wa. Datta to wa. And I think the Toa is just maybe for emphasis. So he's saying, I didn't know that I was this handsome. The next bubble, he says, Hyoto shitara boku. He says, that's probably me. Hyoto shitara means possibly or perhaps. So he's like, maybe that is me. Let's take a look at the next panel. It says, Seikaiichi. And Seikai means the world. 
And Ichi is the number one. So think number one in the world. Or best in the world. So it says, Seikai Ichi no Binanshi. And to be honest, I don't ever use Binanshi. Don't really see it all that often either. But we can break it down by looking at the symbols. So of those three symbols, look at the, the top one. The top symbol, B, I know that's the kanji for beautiful. And the next one, Nan, I know that's the symbol for male. And then she, the bottom symbol, I know that is the symbol for child or kid. So when he says, Seikaiichi no Binanshi, he's saying the most handsome boy in the world. And then he's kind of pausing when he says, Ja, nai kashira. So he's like, Ja nai kashira. When he says, when you see kashira, it means I wonder. And then janai may be like, am I not? Something like that. So when you string this all together, it's almost like him saying, I wonder if I'm the most handsome boy in the world. Or I might be the most handsome boy in the world. And let's look at the next panel. The mirror says, so this. That's right. Anata sama wa. That's a polite way of saying you. Seikaiichi na no desu. And we know that seikaiichi means best in the world. And that nano des, it means you're saying something with, with confidence. Uh, it means that the mirror is like, yeah, definitely. So if we string that together, it's like the mirror saying, you are definitely the most handsome boy in the world. Mm. Minus the mm part. Let's look at the next panel. Kagami ga shabeta. Kagami means mirror, like we saw on that first page. Shabeta means talked. Well, the mirror spoke. And the mirror says, Watashi wa shinjitsu wo utsushi. I, and shinjitsu means the truth. And utsushi, I think in this case, is like to reflect. So I reflect the truth. And the next line says, Shinjitsu wo katarimasu. I speak the truth. So if we string that together, I reflect the truth. I speak the truth. And of course, it's a lying mirror. So that mirror is lying its ass off. Let's look at the next panel. <laughs> Doraemon comes in and he says, Wasurite ta. Oh, I forgot. And let's go to the next panel. In the next panel, Doraemon says, Shimatto ko. So in this case, the verb shimao means to put something away. And like, toko, it's kind of hard to explain for me. Like, uh, it's like you're, you're putting, you're preparing to do something. So in essence, he's kind of saying in this one, I'll go ahead and put this away. Or let's go ahead and put this away. Nobita says, Omoshiroi kagami omoteru na. Omoshiroi just means interesting. Kagami, we know, means mirror. Emoteru means to hold or to have. So in this case, he's saying, that's an interesting mirror you have. Or, like, I don't think kids really talk like that, so maybe, oh, cool mirror, is what he's saying. All right, guys, that'll do it for the breakdown. I'm going to read this page to you one more time at a faster speed. Imamade, boku no kao wa manga mitai da to omote ita kedo. Ko, kore wa honto ni boku daro ka? Boku ga konna ni handsome da ta to wa. Hyotto shita ra boku. Seikaiichi no binanshi ja nai ka shira. So desu. Anata sama wa seikaiichi nano desu. Kagami ga shabitta. Watashi wa shinjitsu wo utsushi. Shinjitsu ga katarimasu. Wasurete itta. Shimatto ko. Well, guys, that'll wrap it up for our last episode of How to Read Manga in Japanese. If you enjoyed it, thank you. And if not, sorry. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I would say that's it for today, but being that it's January 31st, I do have one more video that I'm going to post a little later. Pretty important, but uh, yeah, uh, just stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot. Peace.